Are you a frequent traveler who might appreciate a quick nap on your next long layover? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Minute Suites, including how to use your Priority Pass at their locations. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30, and on this channel we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, including travel review videos like this one. It's only been a few weeks since I obtained my Amex Platinum card, and with it, a Priority Pass membership. Incidentally, I had the chance to use this Priority Pass for the first time just a couple of weeks ago when my wife and I had an overnight layover at Atlanta's Hartfield Jackson Airport. In need of a place to hang out for a bit, we turned to one of ATL's two Minute Suites locations, this particular one found in Concourse B. So what was the experience of using my Priority Pass at Minute Suites like, and was it worth it? Let's take a look at a few things you should know about it. The first thing to know about Minute Suites is that they don't offer a typical lounge experience and instead give you a private place to work, relax, or nap. When you arrive to a Minute Suites location in Atlanta, Baltimore, Charlotte, Dallas, or Philadelphia, you'll likely notice that it doesn't resemble a regular airport lounge and that there are only a few rooms. Moreover, while the term suite might make you think of a large area, Minute Suites could actually be called Minute Studios. Although these rooms are tiny, they do include some useful amenities. First, there's a daybed that has a trundle, allowing for two people to lay down. If you need to recharge your devices while you recharge yourself, it's nice to know that there are plenty of outlets to be found as well. Also found along the wall are a thermostat and the white noise, which can be adjusted to your liking. Funny enough, I actually just thought that the white noise sounded like the AC blowing and was useful for blocking out some of the terminal noise. Lastly, there's also a desk and a television in each room in case you want to do some work or just kick back. Another major difference from other lounges is that the snacks and drinks found at Minute Suites are not complimentary. Instead, you'll find a price list for each of these items. Luckily, while there's certainly a markup, it's not nearly as bad as a mini bar in a hotel room might be. Still, it may be worth planning ahead and bringing in a bottle of water and something to munch on for your stay. Next, since Minute Suites isn't really a lounge, the way your Priority Pass access works is quite a bit different from other places. Lest you think your Priority Pass will entitle you to a free place to sleep for a few hours, I have some bad news for you. Currently, applicable pass holders get one complimentary hour in a Minute Suite with their card. From there, additional hours cost $28 plus tax. Keep in mind, this rate is a discount from the typical $42 an hour. By the way, you are still able to bring in up to three guests for free, although you'll all need to share a single suite, which could get a bit tight. Finally, if you're worried about ensuring that there's availability at a minute suites during your layover, it's nice to know that you can also make reservations online. With the number of rooms at Minute Suites locations being limited, it's nice to know that you can make a reservation ahead of time. By visiting Minutesuites.com, you can select a location and enter the length of your stay to view room availability. Note that there are also Priority Pass options listed under Appointment Type. As a side note, even if you don't end up making a reservation, it is apparently helpful if you set up an account online before arriving. That's what I did and it saved me time when I was checking in, even though I didn't actually complete my booking. However, the next time I intend on visiting, I'll definitely be saving my spot. Overall, while Minute Suites can get a bit pricey even with your Priority Pass, I think that sticking to about a two-hour booking makes it worth it. While the day bed at Atlanta's Minute Suites might not have been the most comfortable thing I've ever slept on, it was undoubtedly better than the floor or the concourse seating in the terminal, and I definitely appreciated the privacy. Unfortunately, $28 an hour is still a bit steep, even if it is discounted. That said, $28 for my wife and I to both grab a quick two-hour nap does seem worth it to me, and would surely be the strategy were we to find ourselves with an overnight layover once again. Hopefully this gives you a better idea of what using your Priority Pass at Minute Suites is all about, but for much more, I'll have a link to my article on moneyat30.com in the description box down below. Also, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos every week. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.